they get repeat stoppages, it's just going to put a lot of anxiety in the north and uh, and you know and create probably some turnovers on exit. So the kick out taken by former captain Mitch Clisby goes short and finds Wilkie gets it back now does Clisby and from underneath the scoreboard it'll go out to the. So Slee now kick down the line. Hunter front position puts the arms out. Good spoil from Barnes. Taken there though by Fogarty. A high up and under kick. Sitting under it courageously there was Clisby. And he'll take a good mark. He'll switch short now and find McInerney. Bodies the ball. The big man in the player for the former double blues player Wilson stands up in the tackle. Smith's kick was looking for a teammate Connolly. He couldn't mark it. Well done again from North. They release from half. Need. He played State Footy 4 SA against WA earlier in the year, just 25 years of age. As the whistle's gone, it'll be a free kick going the way of the Roosters. Tropiano and Ellis Yolman just have a bit to say to each other. It's going to go the way of Mitch Clisby. Played some AFL footy with Melbourne. Clisby's kick is a good one. Barnes on the lead. Couldn't take it, but there's going to be a free for chopping the arms. And it's going to go against all the Roosters, Robbie. Yeah, Paul Hunter was just out of position there. He tried to get uh, to get back and, and bring the ball to ground, but he just got a little block from his north opponent. And In the blue boots, kicks to half forward. The aforementioned Wilkie chops it off. He's one of those players, Robbie Callum Wilkie, been in the system for a while, played some state under-18s footy and just a real honest sample footballer. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he, he's quite athletic, Callum, and he's just finding his... initial moment, as did... The player on hands and knees in Brody Smith. He gets a hand pass out, though. The Crows will go forward, but well chopped off there by the veteran. The, the turf seems to be shifting underneath. So Harry Slee, he's not going to make the distance with that kick. It's going to be intercept marked there by Barnes. Didn't really kick through it. And it was marked there, as I said, defensively from North, and they've repelled the attack. But it just seemed to be that go. The, the game's just been at such a frenetic pace. I think some players are just uh, readjusting after the halftime break. North are readjusting from half back. It comes now to Tropiano. He's indecisive to go with the hand pass and he'll chip short and find Clisby. So they eventually get the ball out of defensive 50. They'll switch to this. The former Sturt Jr. Handball's back in board now. Matty Lee for Adelaide. He'll run to the arc of 50. Kick inside looking for a teammate, Signorello. Couldn't take it. North's defence does well. Now it's with Wilkie looking for Boyd Woodcock. The second game attack. So Tanner Smith, the man from Cowkey over near Horsham in Victoria. Gives off the hand pass now to his teammate Clisby. The kick looking for Barnes. The big man sat under it. Gibson out, but on this occasion it will be Mitch Clisby. So again he'll do what Cashry did. Went short, goes to himself, gains the full yardage, then clears defensive 50. Wilkie in front position. A good strong grab, Callum Wilkie. 50 goals, 9, 129. Game high, 20 point lead. Second game high, rather. It was 21 a moment ago, of course, as the ball for North Adelaide will come out of defensive 50. Good hands, good mark by Keenan Ramsey. He's been impressive today. He'll square up a good...